Hey YouTube, how's it going? Dan the Plastic Man here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, it's time to take a look at the fully assembled Master Grade Gundam Double X so I can give my final thoughts and recommendations about this guy. And here he is. Now, two issues. This is actually the second time I've had to shoot this video and a brand new issue popped up. Firstly, he's back heavy as sin. I'm having to use the extendable barrels of the satellite cannon as extra leg props. And you'll notice he doesn't have his shield because here it is. This swing arm mechanism that they that Bandai came up with, not only do you see this piece popping in and out almost willy-nilly, but the peg for the arm, it broke on me. So this is very soft plastic. Don't try to force it or anything, so... Yeah, that's that's very disappointing to me. But it's not like I was really going to have him holding the shield, but it's just something to be wary of. Okay, let's get the articulation out of the way. The head will do the full Exorcist 360. We've got a nice neck joint and ball joint inside the head so we can get some funky chicken action going right here. The shoulders will rotate 360 degrees. You just got to move the arms out of the way. The arms will rotate 360 degrees below the shoulder. The elbow will give you about a... I'll call that a 160. The waist you can get about 90 degrees out of. I thought you could go full 360. There's actually a second joint in here so you can get some ab crunching going on. The legs will come this far forward. Let me get the skirt armor out of the way. And they will go this far back because the rear skirt is hinged. The knee, you will still get the full 180 out of. The ankles, you can get some very good posability out of. Let me get the leg out of the way. And you've got a double ball joint, top and bottom, so you can get motion like this, come back and forth, side to side, the foot it's, oh I forgot, the leg will actually turn 180 degrees at the hip. The foot can basically rotate just with the ankle as well, but you've got good side to side, down, up, and then you can t still move the toes up and down. Now, as I said, this backpack makes him heavy at, back heavy as sin. So if you're going to have him on the ground, you are more than likely going to have him in a pose like this. I haven't tried the satellite cannon on the ground yet. We're actually going to do that together. So... Let's do this. I'll go ahead and open up the arms. I'll open up the legs. Open up the collectors. I just really can't believe that that shield piece broke on me while I was trying to move it around. Okay, so far, so good, but once again, kickstands. So, bring one of the guns up, fully extended, drop it over the shoulder. And of course you'd have to start fighting me because I'm recording this. Bring the clamp up. Lock the gun in place. Okay. We might, just might, 
not have to put them on an action base. I've got one here with me though, just in case we need to. Okay, extend the other barrel. Other shoulder clamp come up. Open. Come on, get in there. Lock it in. Clamp it down. Put the V-fin back on. Arms out. And oh my gosh, guys. Well. He can do the twin sat he can do the satellite cannon pose on the ground. Granted, I've got his feet spread wide and his waist joint is still loose as all get out. But it would take <laughs> I'd need a couple more minutes of finagling to get it look perfect. But the basic answer is yes, he can stand on the ground not be on an action base, and do the full satellite cannon pose. That is amazing to me, especially with how back heavy he is. But I do have an action base, so I will plug him into this thing. Actually, let's get him back on the ground. I want to do a couple size comparisons of this guy first. Come on, work with me. Okay, there we go. And there he goes. So maybe you really do need the action base. It's a learning experience for all of us. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, the balance on this guy is very, very finicky. But... There we go. Now, for size comparisons, like I said, I wanted to do. This guy came from the from the 90s, so they, Bandai was trying to save money by making suits smaller. So I'll bring in another 90s suit to compare him to. Here's my Master Grade Tall Geese 1. And it looks like... Does Double X have him on head height? I think he does. Oh, crud. Well, yeah, they look to be about the same size. Pretty cool. Now to bring in a typical mobile suit. As my tall geese falls over on the side of the screen. Here he is next to a Gelgoog 2.0. So, typical Universal Century grunt suit versus After War Lead Gundam. Smaller, quicker, but definitely not as bulky. So it's about the same size as your typical wing kits. And just because I've got this guy still here, double X, meet the turn X. And that's, wow, that's almost comical. But that takes care of that. So, Apart from the loose joints that you just got to finagle and the shield piece breaking on me, I have no complaints about this suit at all. The double X... One second, guys. I apologize about that. I've got to figure out how to work with this time limit on my camera. But back to my thoughts and feelings on this Gundam. Get it. Plain and simple. This is the second Master Grade we've gotten in 2015. It does share a few parts with the original Gundam X, but I would, and still am, recommending this guy. If you don't want to try to finagle with him, get him on an action base, you'll be happy. I love the detailing, such as the panel lines for the cockpit and the collector. 
We've got the excellent detailing in the radiator fins. I just love this kit. The internal frame is great. The detailing is superb. The price is good too. I mean, this is a, pull the box up here. It's a 4,500 yen kit, so about 50 bucks. I mean, like I said, I got this guy at Gundam Planet. And yeah, if you guys want this kit, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. If you collect lead Gundams, get this guy. If you are looking to get into the Master Grade line, pick this guy up. He's a great starter. There's nothing finicky. Well, <laughs> as I counter, <laughs> as I say that when I'm dealing with a couple loose joints and a broken shield, but it's a straightforward build. You know, nothing like a Verka, <laughs> no hyper intensive detail. Pick it up, guys. I definitely recommend it. And thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them. And like I said, I got that, I got a special surprise coming for you guys because the channel just hit 50 subscribers. So take care guys. I will see you guys at the next video and have a good day. Bye-bye.